open circuit V sub 2 positive. Okay. Ngayon, paano natin makukuha itong V1 and V2? That is actually the voltage across the capacitor at DC source. So, yung V1 natin, equivalent siya sa 2 times the current na dadaan dito. Okay, yung V sub 2 natin, that is ito. Kung open to, wala kasing current na dadaan dyan, tama? Walang voltage drop kay 5, kung maaalala nyo. Kaya walang drop sa 5. So, yung V2, open circuit voltage natin is equivalent to 4 times the I. So, yung current ngayon, dito and ito. Okay, parang i-redraw -re natin siya. I-redraw siya na. Ayan. Oh, ayan. Meron kang 3. And then, iniglyak na lang natin to. Tapos, meron kang 4. And then, meron kang 2. 6 ampere. Okay. So, meron kang I total. Tapos, yung I mo, madidistribute I1. And then, yung isa, I sub 2. Tama ba? So, yung 6 ampere mo, mapupunta siya sa I1, mapupunta siya sa I2. So, yung I na pinag-uusapan natin dito, I2 pala siya. So, yung drop mo kasi dito, pareha siya sa V1. Yung drop mo naman dito, pareha siya dito. V sub 2. So, we can, we have I total, which is 6 ampere. So, kung gusto makuha yung isang value ng current, we can use current divider principle. So, ganun natin uh, aatakihin yung problem 1. First, we have to redraw. Kaya, this is source open. Ganito yan. So, i-redraw natin. Actually, kin kinopya ko na yung... Ayan, ayan yung drawing. So, solve na natin siya. No, niridraw ko. Ito yung sinulat ko kanina. At open circuit voltage, ito open, ito open. Ayan, no? V sub 1, V sub 2. And then, so 6 ang total, kukunin natin ito. Naalala nyo yung drawing ko? Sige, drawing ko na lang ulit. Okay? So, ito siya. Kung iridraw natin to so, this is 3 kilo ohms. Okay, this is 4 kilo ohms. And we have a source. 6 milliamp. So, yung papasok dito, wait lang. Okay, this is I. And meron tayong 2 kilo ohms. Ayan. So, total kasi natin is 6. So, madidistribute siya sa dalawa. Kung kukunin natin yung I, is equal to, ito yung inahanapan yung side na to, so ito yung nasa taas mo, 3 kilo ohms. And then, i-add natin sila, 3 times 10 raised to 3 plus, okay, add ko na to no, okay, sige na, para walang cut. And then, plus 2 times 10 raised to 3, multiplied by the total, 6 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, I, yung current flow dito, yung mag-flow dito, that is equivalent to 2 milliamp. Ayan. Or 2 raised to negative 3. Okay. Anong gagawin natin dyan? Kasi yung voltage drop kay V2, okay, yung voltage drop dito, equivalent siya dun sa voltage drop kay 4. Open circuit kasi itong branch na to eh. So, yung voltage drop kay 5 kilo ohm, I, walang dadaan na current dyan. So, ang voltage drop kay 5 kilo ohm ay 0. 0 to. Ngayon, meron kang open circuit voltage. That is equivalent to, ano, equivalent to 4 times I. It, dito naman sa V1, yung voltage drop dito, okay, which is V1, that is, which is 2 times I then, ito yun, diba? Yung current na dadaan din kay 2 kilo ohms ay I. I equals siya sa V sub 1. So, yun yung hahanapin natin. Okay. So, V sub 2 is equal to 4 times 2 times 10 raised to negative 3 milliamp. So, V sub 2 is equal to 8 volts. Okay. And then, V sub 1 is equal to 2 times um, 2 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, V sub Okay, wait na nga. 4 pala to. Kita. Kamali ako, sorry. 4. 
4 times 10 raised to 3. Kaya pala ang bakit ganun. Okay, 4, 4 kilo ohms pala siya. And this one also, 2 times 10 raised to 3. Ayan. So, gusto na natin to. So, V sub 2 is 4 times 10 raised to 3. V sub 1 is 2 times 10 raised to 3 times 2 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, V sub 1 is 4 volts. Ayan. Kasi natin kayo gagamitin yan? Kasi, for energy stored, kailangan natin sila sa formula. Yung work 1, yung um, the voltage or the energy stored and the first capacitor, 1 half CV1, 1, 1 squared. So, energy stored is 1 half 2 times 10 raised to negative 3 millifarad times the V sub 1, 4 squared. So, energy stored is 16 times 10 raised to negative 3 joule or that is 16 millijoule. So, ito pa lang yung sagot natin. Then, for second capacitor, 1 half C2 V sub 2 squared. 1 half C sub 2 is 4 times 10 raised to negative 3 times 8. 8 volts kasi siya squared. So, that is 1 to 8 times 10 raised to negative 3 joule. Or that is 1 to 8 millijoule. Okay. Okay, next problem tayo. So, next problem is, okay, meron tayong series parallel connection capacitor. We have to find the voltage across across each capacitor. Okay. <clears throat> the voltage across the capacitor is given by the formula. Ano kasi formula natin? That Q is equal to CV. So, V is equal to Q over C. Okay. Um, Q is, uh, or Q is the same as charge, no? It acts as a, I mean, Q, the charge is the same as the current. So, it acts like a current in charge natin. Okay, kung kailangan natin ngayon yung Q. Kasi meron tayong mga capacitance value. So, if we have to find Q or I, imagine nyo yung I, kailangan natin makuha yung current na mag-flow doon, dito. Okay, na. Kapag kasi nakuha natin current or Q, yung V natin, V1, is the Q that flows here divided by the capacitance. For V sub 2, same. Same lang yung Q. Um, the Q that flows here divided by 30 millifarad. For 40, ito naman kasi, makukuha natin yung V sub 3. Kailangan muna natin kunin yung equivalent niyan. So, we have to simplify the circuit, um, get uh, equivalent circuit for this. And then, makukuha natin yung V sub 1, 2, and 3. For V sub 3, there are two ways. Kapag nakuha natin yung V1 and V2, may nasa lang natin sa 30. Or, we can use also this equation. Kung i-rewrite natin, i-redraw natin yung circuit, kailangan natin makuha yung equivalent circuit. Ayan, kailangan natin makuha yung C equivalent. Tapos ito ay 30. Okay, kailangan natin siya makuha. Makumplete natin yan. So, paano? Ito kasing dalawa, eto i-add lang natin to, di ba? Let's say, this is C, C A. C A. Okay. So, C sub A is equal to, since series, uh, parallel sila, para series lang natin sila. So, this is 40 plus 20. There, this is in my millifarad. C sub A is 60 millifarad. 
So, ganito bali yung drawing natin. Ito ko na nalalagay. So, this is one, two, three. Positive, negative, 30 volts. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is 20 millifarad, 30 millifarad, ito 60. Itong 60 millifarad na to, V, dito yung V sub 1. Okay, dito na lang. A v sub 3. Ito yung V sub 1. Positive, negative, V sub 1. Positive, negative, V sub 2. Ngayon, may charge na mag-flow dyan. Yung charge na mag-flow dito, that is Q. Kasi parehas siya ng, um, it act, it act like a, uh, a charge or current. Yung charge natin, it acts like a charge. Kasi alam natin that I is equal to dQ over dt. Diba? So, yun. So, para makuha natin, susulat ko na, no? Yung V1, kailangan lang natin yung Q over C1. V2, Q over C2. Q, V sub 3, Q over C sub 3. Ano yung C sub 3? 60. Hindi yung 40 and 20, ha? 60. Ngayon, yung drop dito na V sub 3, dito, yung drop mo sa 60 millifarad, same siya sa drop mo kay 40 at saka 20. Diba? Garalan natin yan doon sa series parallel circuits. Okay. But first, to get Q, for Q, kailangan natin na C equivalent. Ayun. C equivalent. Ito na nang lalagay. Q is equal to C equivalent times V. Ano yung V mo? 30. Kailangan mo na yung C equivalent. So, C equivalent now is, di ba 60 to? So, that is 1 over 1 over 60 times 10 raised to negative 3 plus 1 over 20 times 10 raised to negative 3 millifarad plus 1 over 30 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, C equivalent is, you can um, use yung 2 at a time na ito, ito muna tapos yung sagot dito dun sa 20 or ito minsan kasi. 10 millifarad. So, therefore, Q is equal to, ito yan, C equivalent over V. Q is equal to 10 times 10 raised to negative 3 over the voltage, 30. 30. So, Q is, pila ng Q natin, 0.3. Charge yan, coulomb. Ayan. So, substitute natin ngayon. For V1, to. So, that is Q. 0.3 times. Ano V1? 20 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, V1 is 5. I wait, 15. Ayan. So, ito pala yung sagot natin. Ayan. And then, V sub 2. Zero point three times thirty times ten is so negative three. That is equal to ten. We can get V sub three. V sub three. Mag KVL ka lang. By KVL, di ba? So that is thirty minus V one minus V two. So kung ito ay kung ito ay fifteen, to naman ay ten. So matitira ay 5 volts. Or, we can use the formula V sub 3, 0 0.3 over yung Q, di 40 yan. Kasi yung drop mo dito, tsaka drop mo dun parehas. Ngayon, kung gusto mo makuha yan, kunin mo yung equivalent. 60 times 10 raised to negative 3. V sub 3 is 5 volts. Okay, so yun yung sagot natin. For number uh, 7. Number 7 problem. Last problem for inductor.